15 rescues all in the area near Tulip Avenue. Now the good news is everyone is going to be OK, but things took a scary turn when two girls went out into the water and one couldn't swim. There was two girls out there and one of them said the other girl couldn't swim. Michael Berry is visiting from Georgia and says he was just doing what he was supposed to when he went in after the girl. Uh, so my there got a hold of her. I told she said I can't swim. I said you got to hold on to me and trust me. I said you can't spaz out. Barry got a hold of her and made his way toward the shoreline. Once he was able to find his footing, he was met by a human chain. And that's when the girl with the yellow float showed up and then the Baywatch dude. Eliza Dellert is the girl with the float and says once she realized she was the fastest swimmer, she went out to meet the two. I mean, I just did what I hope anyone else would do. Terry and Bethany Fry are visiting from Michigan and say the lifeguards have been vocal about the rip currents being strong. People were not listening. As soon as they, they, they blew their whistle, told everyone to get out of the water and explained to them the riptide. And as soon as they turned their backs, people were right back in the water. Bethany also experienced the pool, but remembered the advice from the signs posted on the way in. I was out so far, um, Terry couldn't see me So from shore. So it's it's scary stuff. Yeah. These signs are posted at all of the beach entrances, showing you to go out and around to get back onto the shore safely. In Cocoa Beach, Kelly Rippon, West 2 News.